I was up and down about Cardell Jones as a high school football prospect. He had size. He definitely had arm strength. He had limited mobility, but he could show it here and there out of high school. Um, and at times, he would look tremendous. He would look very polished. Uh, I was at a game in person where he led a fourth quarter comeback, uh, which was extremely impressive at a triple header in Indianapolis, um, and just showed that poise that you saw last year for three games when he led Ohio State to the national title. But then there were other times you saw him, you know, in high school, in prep school, where something was missing. Downfield vision, ability to throw the ball downfield accurately, uh, taking too many shots downfield at times, not checking down, um, you know, and, and you just wondered about his, his mental uh, state. You know, he was a guy that was a little bit flaky, <clears throat> as we could see by his Twitter handle and, and the way he sort of shot off uh, when he got out to Iowa State uh, regarding academics. He, he wasn't overly focused, I don't think, on the football field. Uh, and I think that gets, you know, it comes into play now when you're talking about the NFL scouts looking at him. Um, they see a huge guy. Uh, they see a guy that can escape the pocket and won't run for a billion yards but can keep the play alive. That What they see is sometimes they see Ben Roethlisberger, but then other times they see Jamarcus Russell. And it's going to be very interesting to see after Russell was taken number one, you know, as a big physical quarterback who wasn't overly uh, athletic uh, as, as opposed to a Cam Newton who was a big physical quarterback who was uh, super athletic and is being successful in the NFL. What will they think of Jones? He struggled a little bit at times here at Iowa State. And, and it's the same thing I saw in high school and in prep school. It's just inconsistency. He'll get on a roll. He'll look great. Uh, then a couple incompletions. He'll start short arming things. Uh, he won't step into his throws at times. Uh, he'll start forcing the football. And then he just sort of gets into his own head and, and I think that's where the wheels fall off. So I have seen the Cardell Jones who can lead fourth quarter comebacks. I've seen that guy who led Ohio State to the national championship. Uh, but I've also seen so many other times the guy that I wouldn't really trust with the, with the reins of the number one football team in the country or as a first-round NFL draft pick. And that's why he's so polarizing when it comes to uh, not only his, his college status right now, whether he should be the starter, um, but also his, his NFL status. A lot of people thought if he came out last year, he'd be a first-rounder. I don't see it. I don't see this guy as a franchise quarterback. Um, but I do know that big arm, that size, uh, the, the ability to shuffle around and move, somebody's going to be enthralled with that and take a chance on him. And, and he could be a boom or bust.